So some of you may have seen my other videos uh, about trying to fix my truck. I've been having some electrical problems with it. Um, specifically when I try to run it, this motor uh, in here where the brushes are. This thing will heat right up, uh, glowing red and uh, start to smoke really quick. So I've been trying to figure out what the problem is. I took this motor apart, uh, checked it out and the motor looks pretty good uh, you know and this motor was brand new too I, I maybe got a an hour or two with a runtime on it so it, it really shouldn't be screwing up so I got to thinking that possibly it's the electronics uh, this is my Novak ESC and a three cell uh, BEC here and the only thing I can really think of at this point that the problem is is one of those two so I actually went ahead and just ordered a new ESC I went with a Tekken FXR um, I chose this particular model because for one Tekken is a well-known brand uh, with quality stuff uh, but this ESC is 3 cell LiPo compatible uh, up to a 35 turn motor which is what I use so what I'm going with. But what I'm doing today is I gotta get this mess out of my electronics box and I gotta solder up this one and get it all hooked up. Uh, there's a whole programming sequence you gotta go through with this before you can run anything. But I'm uh, pretty much gonna hook this new ESC up and hook up my motor and hopefully I don't have any problems. Alright so I got, now these are my battery uh, lines. As you can see that these are all siliconed in this box and I really would rather not undo this and have to redo it. So I think I'm going to mount this ESC about here and that way my battery wires will reach it and I can just solder them in right here in the box. Now I also have this, here we go, this capacitor that's got to be soldered in junction with that and the other thing I got is right here are my lines that go to the motor. Now these connectors came with the wiring for this uh, Novak receiver and they're, they were already soldered in right from the factory so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unsolder or maybe I'll just clip them. I, I got enough line there. I'll just clip these off down here and uh, that way I'll use these wires to, to solder to the post here and, and then I have the uh, female connections for this already and I don't have to redo any of this stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mount it in here. I'll probably, I'll probably take these wires off and solder them on and then mount this in here so it's stable and then uh, do, do these, soldering these when they're in the, when this is in the box. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take these wires off so I don't have to worry about that and, uh, and just solder this all in. So I'll show you this here. I got my um, motor wires are soldered on and again they have the connections uh, for the other half of this deal so that's good and set. I just wanted to show you this though. So I got the uh, the, the uh, power capacitors has got to go on to the uh, battery terminals here and you know they tell you you get the directions here this little half circle indicates which which side you got to go to so that's on the um, battery negative side <clears throat> but if you guys are doing any soldering or something like this, you always got to pre-tin your stuff. And pre-tinning, it might be hard to see here, but you can see I've already soldered the end of these wires. Not these wires were were already soldered to uh, this old ESC, so they they really kind of had solder in them already. But I wanted to show you the difference here in this uh, on these posts. So all of these posts have that notch cut out. Notice it's kind of focusing on my vice grips in the background, but there we go. So that post there has got a notch in it. All four of these were like that. So this one here is pre-tinned, and uh, I got it full of solder in it, and I've soldered in the capacitor on that side. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one, and then that way you just kind of... Well, let me get my angle here. There we are. Yeah, it's not focusing on the uh, wires here. There we go. 
So then you just kind of press the uh, pre-tinned wires on top and melt them in. So it, if you pre-tin all your stuff, it, it makes putting the pieces together so much easier. Alright, so it's all hooked up here. Let me see if I can get some more light in here. Uh, so we're all hooked up. Everything here is soldered together. You can see that uh, power capacitor underneath. I kind of tucked that down low and out of the way. And uh, so all the wires are hooked up. But anyways, I've got a battery here. I can plug my battery right in. I got the motor here. I can plug that right in. So I'm going to just plug this stuff in outside of the truck and uh, run through the the parameters of this ESC and give this thing a try and just see what happens. Uh, hopefully my problem has been resolved. I really I really hope it is, but this is a nice ESC here. Like I said, Tekken is uh, well known for quality products. This is uh, three cell compatible, so I don't have to have the BEC. So this is a, a, an interesting thing to look at. You know, you, you look at this whole mess, this whole mess of this Novak crap that I had in here, and you look how clean and uh, open and spacious this box is now. I had so much shit in here, it just was hard to make sense of it looking at it. So I I think I have a, a view of this in the beginning of this particular video of just what this box looked like before. So it looks a lot better, it's a lot cleaner, and hopefully this is what my problem was. I'll find out soon, I'm going to set this up and go through the, uh, the startup parameters and uh, get this ESC programmed and we'll see what this motor does. So I get it all put together here. You'll notice the the motor wires here are connected backwards. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out what was going on here, but when I calibrated this and uh, I put it all together in the truck, I had forward was reverse and and whatnot. So I think the other day when I had uh, when I had this end cap off the motor, I think I have this turned. 180 degrees from where it's supposed to be so it was uh, reversing the polarity of the motor so not a big deal so I just switched the wires uh, so now forward is forward and whatnot so and I want to show you this I talk about my electronics box a little bit so this is my box and I just kind of velcro strap it into the rear body mounts and then all these wires here so I can unplug this unplug this unplug the steering and then I can just take that box right out if I wanted to uh, and nothing's really permanently attached. But this is uh, part of the reason why I went with the, uh, you know, an SUV type body. It gives you all that space under there for electronics and stuff like that. So, but I did put this together, and it is working pretty well. So it, does, it works good. I, I like this ESC. It doesn't have the Novak. It used to whine. You know, it had that high-pitched squeal when you went real slow, but this has a real nice creep to it. You don't get that irritating ringing sound. Um, same with reverse. You get a real nice low creep. Uh, I like the brake. You can you can set the brake to all different kinds of things, but I like, I like where it's set. It's just kind of a nice smooth brake. It doesn't come to a complete stop. So you can... I see you can creep with it quite a bit. Um, the motor's got some good punch to it. I I like it. it it's working good, and uh, the motor isn't burning up like it was before. So I'm in I'm in good shape. I'm gonna put the body back on this and uh, and get the old truck running again. So like I said it was a little bit of a headache trying to figure out these problems, but I got it all figured out. It turned out to be whether it was the ESC or the BEC on my Novak system. I don't know really which part of it went bad, but either way, it just uh, wasn't working out for me anymore. Thanks for watching.